Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome to another edition of Track Walk NMX Simulator, where today we're playing, oh gosh, here we go, worst pronunciation ever, the TCD Humelo de Hexen Plus? Humelo de Hexen Plus? I, I don't know if I got that even close to right, um, but this is a track that is located in uh, the Netherlands and was created by a user named Tristan, Tristan Botterham on the forums and uh, he's a pretty cool dude I've talked to him a few times before he seems like a real nice guy he's got a YouTube channel uh, that is also in his name I believe that um, you know I'll put his name in the description below you could look up his YouTube channel if you'd like just as like uh, I think just vlogs and maybe a couple sim videos but um, yeah he's a nice guy and uh, he uh, actually asked if I was willing to play this track because uh, he made it a few maybe like a month and a half ago and I said, yeah, it looks like a pretty fun track, I'll give it a go, and I wrote it a few times uh, and was going to do it, but a few other tracks came in before that that I wanted to do, so getting around to it now, and uh, yeah, it seems like a real interesting, fun track. As I mentioned, it is in the Netherlands, so as you can tell with these banks and um, the kind of terrain that I'm riding on, it's very much of like another sand track, typical kind of Netherlands Dutch uh, sand track that uh, there's a, several of these tracks that I've seen on YouTube and stuff like that. I don't know if I've ever actually seen a video on this particular track. Um, but uh, Tristan provided a couple details about the track itself that like it's been around since 1957 and um, yeah, it just seems like in general a pretty neat little track that weaves through the trees. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna ride this track for a little bit, talk about it, um, try to show you guys some cool lines that I found on it already. And in general, try not to crash as many times as I can. Um, the one thing that I will start off by saying, a little negative thing about the track, is that there are several bumps and things on the track that you can't see very well. I have my graphics turned full crank, and uh, I can see most of everything, but there's a few sections that like I'm going through and I feel like, yeah, I'm just going through it normally, like no big deal. And then suddenly like left, right, left, right over the bars because I didn't see that there's a gallon load of chop or something like that. But that's just like one small thing about it that I don't like. Other than that, I think if you ride it enough and get used to where the lines are on the track that it flows pretty well, it rides really well. And uh, in general, it's pretty fun. Like it definitely, it makes me feel like I'm riding a European track with the style of it and uh, the way it flows and all that, which I enjoy it because I like to be able to feel like I'm playing something a little bit different when I play the game, not just like, oh look, another one of these tracks again or something like that. Um, so I really enjoy this track. It's, it provides a different different atmosphere. I think it's beautifully put together. He's got um, some real work put into this where you, like even on the ground layer you can see he spent some time actually decaling where the ruts are so you can see those a little bit better, although the bumps are hard to see, the ruts are pretty easily identifiable but then like all the shadows and all the trees that he has around the track and then he built like a really nice little pit area um, with some sort of like old old looking log cabin slash house thing there on the right um, so yeah in general it seems like you put in a lot of work to it which is always cool when people actually spend the time to make uh, the track environment match how good the track is because there's a lot of times that you'll download a track in these you know an MX simulator and it uh, it rides fantastic, but quite frankly, it looks pretty bad. And for someone like me, who's used to making video edits in this game or um, talking about tracks in the game or something like that, it makes it less enjoyable to talk about or do a video on because, quite frankly, the track doesn't look that great. Like you, you're talking about how fun the track is or whatever, um, but without the visual aspect also matching how great it is to to actually ride the track, um, sometimes it's not as fun. Oh my gosh, why am I crashing just everywhere? Really super frustrating to crash all the time in this game. Uh, I feel bad sometimes uh, saying that I am riding so bad in this game because I know some people crash more often than I do. But it doesn't matter if you crash three or four times a lap or 20 times a lap, it gets to a point where it's frustrating, especially when, personally speaking, I know I can ride better than what I've been doing lately. Um, I just have not been able to put in much time to sim which is sad because I'd like to keep playing it as much as I can, but don't have a whole lot of extra free time hanging around these days. But yeah, this track, uh, like I said, super fun. There's a couple lines that I'm going to try to show you. There's a, a section in the back that 
I rolled the first lap that I'm gonna try to prove to you guys that you can double it and uh, ride out of it no problem. Um, it seems like for the most part the outside lines on this track work the best. It's got a pretty... It's sandy, but it's actually kind of like a really sticky, grippy sand. Like, you've seen a few times I've swapped back and forth and then my front end is just knifed and I've gone over the bars. I've done that like twice now. So, you kind of have to really keep, uh, keep the front end real light, ride towards the back of the bike a lot, stay on the throttle, um, connect your lines so that you're flowing the whole time instead of stop and go. But uh, obviously that's kind of how you're supposed to ride sand and not really complaining about it. It's just uh, that's how you have to ride it. Uh, I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of feedback about what you're supposed to do instead of looking like me and riding like a complete idiot on this track. But uh, yeah, like I said, these, these tracks, so here's this section in the back that I told you, I, I believe you can double it. I did not get a good enough drive to double it, so I'm going to jump off the side of the track. But uh, you can double it. I've landed and made it into the corner, no problem. I will show you eventually, though. But riding tracks like these in this game, oh man, it makes me really badly want to actually go ride a dirt bike at some point in my life in Europe. My uh, a real big dream before he passes away at some point, and, and he's not anywhere near passing away, but I'd really like to fly to Australia with my dad and um, not only ride some local tracks out there, but just go out and ride out in the great wide open that is Australia because it seems like there's some real beautiful areas to ride in and he's told me before that even he would like to go riding in Australia but I mean like as a personal dream I've always wanted to go to the uh, go to Europe anyway and it would be so much fun if when I do go to Europe if I choose to live there which might happen or if I just go to um, visit for an extended period of time or whatever uh, I'd love so much to be able to either take my bike with me or you know, rent a bike or something like out out there, or just borrow a bike from some friends that I know out there, and go out and rip some of these tracks. Cause like, you know, the, there's no real good like deep sand tracks out in uh, the United States. Like Southwick is probably considered one of the most sandy uh, race tracks that is raced on regularly. And like personally speaking, I've ridden a lot in the desert in Southern California. And, and we have like dunes and sand washes, which kind of replicate the feeling of riding in sand from what I can understand. But I just don't, you know, it's not the same as this nice, real good deep sand that these tracks in Belgium and the Netherlands have, which I'd love to ride someday. And then I just, uh, it sounds so lame, but I just, I really want to go ride like some sketchy single line blue grooves track in France or something like that. Just to like, just to feel that experience, like just to get that experience, um, like moto wise of what it's like to, to ride in Europe and where these guys come from. Cause you know, as an American, we always see, I, I pay real close attention to the GPs and um, love it when the GP riders come over and race in the States. And, and I pay real close attention to the way that these guys ride and, and how it pales in comparison to the United States born riders with you know, perfectly groomed tracks most of the time that they get to ride on, and I'm guilty of it too, like riding on these absolutely beautifully groomed tracks, which is great, but quite honestly, when it comes to like a motocross or supercross um, skill set level, it doesn't teach you very good technique because you're just wide open all or nothing quite often. And uh, personally, I don't really enjoy that aspect of it anyway, so I'd love to ride these like technical tracks, these, tra these tracks that seem to have a real good challenge and there I go nailing the double told you it could be done but like tracks like these um, obviously this is more of like I, what I would consider the quote-unquote US style because you have to ride it pretty wide open light front end um, pushing the pace but then like I said like one of those like sketchy in the weeds tracks that you see in France all the time or um, Italy even or something like that oh I just would love to go experience it and get like a taste of what it's like to um, you know ride where some of these guys that we watch race on a regular basis grew up or uh, just to you know because I have a lot of friends in Europe as well that I talk to and um, a couple of them I've met in person before and uh, I just would love to like get that experience of what it's like to live in Europe ride these tracks and and it's always mixed because I, I meet a lot of Europeans or Australians or something that are like, oh, American tracks, American tracks. I love to go to America, ride the American tracks. And I even talk 
to uh, one of my friends, Fred, who did one of those like dream moto vacations in SoCal this year, and he's from England, and he was like just so stoked on riding Glen Helen and Milestone and Paula and going all these tracks in SoCal and uh, like being able to ride what he was calling like these like nice groomed, well built moto tracks. And not to say that, you know, they can't do the same in England or the Netherlands or anywhere close by to that, but um, it just seems like he has a completely different experience of what it's like to ride in those countries. And conversely to what he's experienced, I want to go experience that experience um, of being able to ride on not perfectly groomed tracks and, uh, you know, learn different techniques that these guys are able to pick up because of those things. So that's my little spiel about European tracks. I've talked before about how I like how in some tracks in Europe, this one is is uh, kind of similar to that, although that unrealistic, unrealistic double I'm busting in the back kind of breaks that stereotype. But I love how these tracks have taken on the initiative of like trying to do old school moldo uh, with uh, like bigger single jumps and tabletops everywhere and trying to use the terrain to the advantage of the track instead of building a lot of man-made jumps and stuff like that. See if I can double this again. If you get going fast enough, it's real easy. Wow, how did I save that? I was sliding all the way down into the corner. I feel like I'm riding a lot better now though, now that I've kind of gotten into my groove a little bit. It takes me a little bit sometimes. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this track from a visual standpoint and, and just in general your thoughts on European moto and what tracks like these are like to ride because I'm always so interested to hear about it as well let alone see it or watch videos of it um, you know you don't get the true experience unless someone tells you what they feel about a, a particular track or layout or design or whatever it is but yeah this is a uh, Humelo de uh, Hex Hexenplast I I'm so sorry to anybody that speaks Dutch because I don't I, I took German for a year and a half, and I still know very, very little German. I, it's basic conversational German at the best, and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I live 20 minutes from Mexico, so quite frankly, I know a lot more about Spanish than German, and German is still nowhere near um, what speaking Dutch is like, so... I, I apologize. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I don't, I can't pronounce things like this very well. That is very for certain. I, I got one, one, one time uh, I did a video, MXGP video gameplay, where someone was like, "What the hell did you just say?" When I was saying uh, "Teutschental," which I thought that's how it's pronounced in Germany, the track um, that uh, is used regularly for the GP series, "Teutschental" is how I pronounce it, and someone was like. That is ridiculous. Like you sound way too American with some stupid accent or something, and I'm just like, dude, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not from Europe. I don't claim to speak any languages over there very well, even. So, um, I, I'm just, uh, I'm bad. I love European history. I love European motocross. I love a lot of things about Europe, but I am no good when it comes to actually speaking the languages that are mostly presented there other than English, obviously. So I'm just going to have to stick with my original skill set and continue on with my English basis. I'm sorry if that uh, doesn't work for some of my lovely, loyal German, Dutch, French, whatever you are viewers. It's just what I got. That's all I'm going to work with. I actually, <laughs> interestingly enough, we started that uh, whole Vitamin Water SYS racing team earlier this year in MX Simulator, and uh, we included a lot of French riders, uh, one rider from Belgium, and I had hoped to kind of ex you know extend our boundaries a little bit and start doing maybe a couple videos um, extra that were uh, mixed French English or mixed uh, you know German English or something like that. Obviously, I know Belgium it's all over the place with whether or not they speak French or Dutch or even German. Belgium is kind of a, a whole mix of it. But uh, I've, I always love trying to learn new languages and uh, thought those guys would help out a little bit more, but it's all good. Either way, I'm coming up to the end of this video because I've already finished five laps. I feel like you guys have got a pretty good idea of the track. I think what I'm going to do to end this, though, is uh, just go ride through the pits so you guys can see some of the work that he put in. Um, not talk about just the track, but 
You see over here, he's got a little barn with some uh, cool little tools, a little bobcat, or uh, it's not really little, but a little tractor in there. He's got like a little um, trailer over here, a little, yeah, I don't I guess it's called a trailer, and then a water truck. And uh, this house thing that, I guess it's a brick house. Uh, I don't know why I said log cabin, but it's a brick house. And, uh, oh, there's a thank you sign, I believe, right here. It says, welcome to the TCD Humello track rules. First of all, subscribe to my YT channel, Tristan Bodrum, as I said. Throw it sideways on every jump and just send it. Try to cut the track because you really can't <laughs> enjoy playing. And as always, keep it 100. Nice. Cool little message from Tristan Bodrum and cool track. Um, really enjoyed playing it. I'm glad that uh, he uh, asked me to give it a go, and I'm glad that I did actually give it a go. It seems like it's really well built, as mentioned, and a lot of time went into making, like, just even like this over here. Uh, he made, uh, I can't even get into the track because of the way that he made this, but, like, you have to go in between the sticks. There's another barn over here. So you could either get into the track over here, and he even made little ruts to it, or you could come back over here and get in between these banners. And then this looks like it's like a long pit row, but obviously there's a start line. So you come down here, you can enter the track right here. Like it's just all these cool little, little intricate details about a track that you don't really think about, but sometimes even make the track like way more interesting and fun because once you go through and find them, you're like, wow, I didn't expect to see that right there or something along those lines. Looks like uh, the track sometimes does extend this way because you can see on the track map that there's like, and there's even like even, look at that, even put the little ruts in the ground as if the track did come back here on occasion. That is so like over the top on the intricate details, like doesn't need to do it or anything, but it's like extended version of the track. And that's just really freaking cool, I think at least. So yeah, thanks. Tristan Bottom, cool track. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, hit us up in the comment section below with all your thoughts, questions, and concerns. I try to get back to as many of them as I can, as quickly as I possibly can. Also, like us on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. Try to stay connected with us as much as we can, because we like to stay connected with you. And uh, as always, download the track in the description below. But Callum's checking out another video here. SYS. We'll see you guys in our future ones, hopefully. But for now, just going to say bye.